So whether you're just starting out with a new business idea or you've been up and running for a while, today we're going to talk about three proven fundamental things that you can do to continue to grow over the long haul. Welcome to the Prosperity Rx Podcast. This is pharmacist Keith Abel with your prescription for prosperity. This is a podcast where I give you hope. I show you the path toward building a life of peace and prosperity, to build a life that you don't need a vacation from. If you're willing to own up to it, to accept that you do have the power to change your circumstances and that you're willing to do what it takes, then this podcast is for you. You truly can change your life and start on the true path toward financial peace and prosperity. W. Clement Stone in his book, The Success System That Never Fails, said, if you cannot save money, the seed of success is not in you. So let's get on with the show. Now, when I began my first side hustle while I was in college, I didn't really know much about how to run a side business. The term side hustle wasn't even a thing yet. The internet was brand new. PayPal didn't exist. Amazon wasn't even thought of, and people weren't comfortable with giving their credit card information online over the computer. All I knew was that I was interested in helping people get healthier using nutrition and herbal remedies without taking prescriptions. And in my mind, and I still believe this today, prescription medication should be the last resort, and if at all possible, should be a temporary fix. So I launched one of the very first e-commerce sites back in uh, the mid-1990s, uh, giving people information about alternatives to medicine and then offering those alternatives for sale. <laughs> well, that venture failed, and when I graduated from pharmacy school, I put the blinders on and I went to work. Now, back then, there weren't books I could read or, or workshops that I could uh, go to on e-commerce or on online ma marketing. I just stumbled along the way and figured things out as I went, and I picked myself up, and I dusted myself off, literally. But now, we live in this exciting side hustle economy where folks are making money doing what they love every single day. Since 2013, I've been coaching folks on how to build a business from home, whether they're uh, you know, working at their kitchen table or in their spare bedroom, or building their business through blogging and and even hotel events and conventions. So what's the secret? I can tell you that business cards and websites and the latest computer equipment and all the studio equipment are all well and good, but that's not what's gonna turn your hobby into a business. And once you catch that thrill of making your first sell, that's gonna drive your business even further. Whether you're just starting out with a, a new business idea or you've been up and running for a while, here are three proven fundamental things that you can do to continue to grow your business over that long haul. Number one, you need to know where you are. You have to be able to evaluate where you are in your journey and identify what you need to do from this point forward in order to uh, succeed in your business. In an article in the Harvard Business Review, Anthony K. Jean writes, there's one quality that trumps all evidence in virtually every great entrepreneur, manager, and leader, that quality is self-awareness. And as a business owner, awareness isn't just a nice to have, it's an essential. It can be tough to wear so many different hats and, and juggle so many areas of your business. You're the boss and you're also in charge of the marketing department and production and shipping, budgets and scheduling, administration, and everything else. So if sales are down, or if just the opposite, you can't keep up with your customers and are experiencing burnout, you may not even know where to begin to make things better. That's where you, you, you know it, that's when you know it's time to uh, gain some self-awareness. Get some honest feedback from a mentor or survey your customers. You can't go wrong if you don't know what's holding you back. Now, number two is invest in yourself. Learning and growing is an important uh, function, especially when you're building a business. When I spent that year traveling one week in a month to meet different high-income earners, one thing every leader had in common is that they were constantly reading and growing and refining their skills and learning new skills as well. They subscribed to industry newsletters. You know, They met with mentors and attended marketing workshops. I heard Dave Ramsey uh, quote, quote quite often a person named Charlie Jones 
where he says, you'll be the same person in five years as you are today, except for the people that you meet and the books that you read. Well, I don't know about you, but if I'm not intentional about reading, you know, between my job, blogging, video production, getting household chores done, it just doesn't happen. If you want to incorporate more reading into your life, try setting a goal to read one professional or personal development book every single month. Also listen to podcasts as I commute to work, and there are countless amazing courses that you can take online so you don't even have to go back to school to master some new craft. And finally, you want to surround yourself with support. We all need people who are in our corner who want to, want to see us succeed. But feeling alone and secluded is something that many business owners struggle with because, as Entrepreneur uh, Magazine said, they start out trusting themselves and themselves alone. After all, entrepreneurship generally comes from a product or an idea from your head. So a company is uniquely yours. It's part of you. And when that company is yours, the success and failures feel like they're yours as well. And you're all alone in that. You begin to feel like you can only rely on yourself. That's why it's so important to get plugged into a community of folks you trust. Folks who can bounce ideas off of and, and solve problems with you and su make suggestions. People who are out there killing it in the business themselves. Many of those high income earners that I met in my travels are now my mentors and my coaches today. If you do these three things, know where you are, invest in yourself, and surround yourself with support, you can succeed in business. Now, I know you can succeed in business because I see folks doing it every single day. If you want it bad enough and you're willing to work hard enough, you'll eventually get to where you want to be, and in many cases, even further. If you don't already have a way to make some extra part-time income, but have considered finding something to do, I've been working a side hustle business for several years and I have several friends who do it as well and we absolutely love it. It's possible to make anywhere from a few hundred dollars to a few thousand dollars per month. Some even use it as their primary source of income. Another great thing is the company that I work with already has the marketing material such as the websites and phone apps already designed and ready for you to use. It takes some time and effort to build a side hustle income, but if you're a good self-starter and you love personal development, then it's just maybe, maybe the right uh, side gig income project for you. That can be a fun way to make some extra money while also building your professional network. In the company that I represent, there are a variety of niches, so you can pick your passion from health and wellness to cosmetics to jewelry, essential oils, pet products, coffee. We even have a services-based division as well that offers ID theft protection and virtual doctor visits and roadside assistance and other services for both individuals and businesses. We also offer capital funding services and credit card processing as well for small businesses. And now we're even launching into the lucrative CBD oil space. And the investment to get started is very low. So just reach out to me and we can have a conversation to see if it's a fit for you. Go to aimhighwithkeith.com, A-I-M-H-I-G-H-W-I-T-H-K-E-I-T-H, Dot com, aim high with Keith dot com, and fill out the questionnaire on there and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Thanks again for watching this podcast. I'll see you on the next podcast. Folks, this has been another episode of the Prosperity Rx podcast where we share with you your prescription for prosperity. Now's the best time to start taking control of your life. And as a loyal listener, I've put together a free course that you can take that will walk you through the steps of setting up and following a spending plan so your family can also get on the road of financial peace and prosperity. To get that course absolutely free, visit spendingplanclass.com. And if you enjoyed this episode, I hope you like and share it. And in future episodes, I'll be covering many topics to teach you how to improve and to take control of your health, as well as topics that encourage savings and debt for you. After all, what good is your health if you have no wealth? And what good is your wealth if you have poor health? So be sure to subscribe to my podcast on your favorite podcast platform. It's ProsperityRx Podcast. And be sure to subscribe to my blog, ProsperityRx.com.